Hi, everybody. I'm Rob Sabin, the editor-in-chief at Projector Central, and I am with Scott Wellington of Panasonic, who's going to tell us a little bit about uh, what's in uh, Panasonic's Projection Expo booth, including some some new things. So, so Scott, I guess the first thing we, it's worth talking about is is the brand new projector series. That's the uh, the PTMZ 880, right? That's correct. So, tell me a little bit. First of all, give us uh, give us a little bit of basic background. How many lumens? What kind of light engine is this? What's the resolution? Yeah. So the MZ 880 series uh, is going to be coming out uh, in uh, July is our target. It's gonna consist of three different models, the PTMZ 880, the 780, and the 680. Uh, in uh, terms of lumens, it'll be 8,000, 7,000, 6,000 respectively. Uh, they're all gonna be WUXGA 1920 by 1200 resolution. Gotcha, so now uh, you guys have obviously a number of, of lines here. Where does this fit into uh, your, your full lineup, because you've got projectors at that lumen count in, in a number of other products. You know, that's a really good question, Rob. And first, let me let me just uh, mention that, you know, at Panasonic for many years has been really uh, primarily a DLP uh, projection manufacturer. But right now we are DLP and LCD. The MZ880 series is an LCD uh, line of projectors, okay? So now we have in 8,000, 7,000, 6,000 lumen, this LCD solution. We also have it in DLP. So I think how it fits into the lineup is this. There are different applications require different technology. Different applications certainly have different budgetary restrictions. So no, no matter where we're going with a particular project, with a particular customer, we have a solution. Uh, whether it's LCD, depending on the application or if it's, it requires a, a lower price, typically LCD gives you a li little bit more of a budget sensitive type of uh, opportunity to save some money. So depending on that, we wanna get the customer the right projector. Uh, and we have a wide range within our lineup of both LCD and DLP uh, projection solutions. So the MZ880 fits right into the middle, which is really a great spot to be with this new LCD series with a lot of new features, uh, as compared to the predecessor models. Uh, we think that the MZ880 is great for schools, great for the office. We even think that there's applications in specialty type of uh, 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 locations such as uh, 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 museums or other types of uh, niche type of uh, locations. Now, a uh, quick question for you on that, because uh, you're talking about uh, you're talking about the difference between LCD and and uh, DLP. Uh, do you find that these kinds of, that that the LCD projectors uh, tend to go into more color, let's say, color sensitive uh, situations, or is there other things that that come into play? There's a there's a lot of things that get taken into consideration when an end user is uh, deciding on what they want. Uh, a lot is driven by the particular application. Uh, if it's uh, an art school, let's say they're maybe more interested in some different, uh, more LCD driven, uh, but in, a, in another application uh, that requires, let's say, uh, um, a lot of uh, more usage uh, over a longer period of time, uh, DLP is longer lasting typically. So there's a lot of variables that go into sure. it. Certainly at the end of the day, there's also going to be a financial uh, kind of uh, consideration given because of the deep differences between prices. But there's also technology differences beyond the display uh, technology. There's also different features. There's different uh, total cost of ownership considerations and so on. So there's gotcha. a, a lot of things to, to, to take into consideration. All right. Well, tell us a little bit about this particular projector because in terms of the features, I mean, I know that you guys really uh, load up the features on these on all of these projector lines. Have you carried over some of the features that you've developed for the other projector uh, families into this one now? Well, absolutely. Uh, you know, when we when we're designing and engineering projectors, uh, we always keep in mind quality is number one. Quality is most important. Our, our product has to be able to provide what we call mission critical kind of performance. It has to work and it has to work well. So of course, carrying that into the whole lineup. Now the MZ880 series in particular has a lot of different features as opposed to the predecessor. We're always looking to improve. 
So clearly uh, what we've done with the MC880 series, uh, we've added some new features that uh, were not in the predecessor. For example, uh, now the MC880 series, because a lot of times uh, people are gonna want edge blending uh, for bigger screen uh, kind of displays. Now all three models of the MZ880 will have edge blending capability. Uh, it's gonna include Ge Geometry Manager Pro for image correction, uh, which is really very important. Uh, it all, they'll all have 4K input to receive uh, 4K signals. Of course, the output resolution will be UXGA, but nonetheless, it's important because customers and users are considering you know, future-proofing, uh, so they want 4K input capability. So those are just a few examples of the, of the uh, uh, additional features that are now added into the new MZ880 series. So, so let's talk a little bit then about, uh, I know there are some new lenses, right? And uh, these are ultra short throw lenses, which are becoming, uh, I think, more and more important, apparently, in the marketplace. We've been seeing uh, more and more opportunities uh, among the manufacturers for, uh, for, for, for getting into that, that kind of specialty application. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the uh, the uh, MC880 series will have a new uh, ultra short throw lens added to the uh, uh, group of lenses available. So we'll have a total of seven lenses. The ETELU20 is a new ultra short throw lens that will be coming out uh, in the near future as well. It has a 0.33 uh, throw ratio. Uh, so it really requires very little uh, space to throw an image, either front or rear projection. Uh, we're really very excited about this lens and look forward to a lot of great things it's got, uh, it, it's one of the, some of the other feature advantages of our particular solution is it has power zoom, it has power uh, shift. So uh, very few uh, ultra short throw lenses have that kind of uh, uh, capability or functionality. It also has an all glass lens. So it's scratch proof and heat proof. Uh, so it's really a very durable uh, product that we're gonna be bringing to market. Uh, okay, let's talk a little bit about some of the other stuff that you've got in the booth. Um, I know that there are some new, uh, uh, new uh, other uh, other additions. The uh, PT FRZ60 is a product that we recently reviewed, mm -hmm. uh, and that's an important projector for you guys for the education market. Absolutely, uh, yes. The FRZ60 is going to be replacing uh, the. PTRZ570. The PTRZ570, as you, you probably know, and a lot of the people listening uh, today will also recognize this model is one of the most uh, popular in the schools, uh, probably nationwide. Uh, it's become the standard in many, many schools uh, throughout the country, and, and for, for a lot of good reasons. But uh, the new FRZ60 will include three models, the FRZ60, the FRZ50, and an FRZ55. And now the FRZ60 is a 6,000 lumen uh, projector. Uh, this is uh, an additional model because uh, last year the RZ570 topped out at 5,200 lumens. So now we've added a model uh, at the 6,000 lumen range because typically as we know that in the education market, uh, brightness is becoming increasingly important year after year. So uh, we added uh, on top of our successful RZ570 the PT FRZ60. Now, the FRZ60 uh, and the FRZ50, uh, will, the FRZ50 will replace the RZ570. It'll have 5,200 lumens. Uh, but the additional feature is that both models will have, uh, number one, it'll both have uh, uh, 4K input. Uh, so now we're gonna have 4K input all the way from our 3,500 lumen projectors all the way to the top. So now we're all 4K uh, input capable. Um, it'll also have a reduction in noise. noise uh, the noise reduction has been reduced. Uh, it'll also have uh, CEC functionality, uh, which is important, consumer electronic control, so that if it's connected, the projector is connected to an, a CEC uh, enabled device, we'll be able to turn on power from one to the other. So it's a very handy kind of uh, feature work one of the few companies that does have CEC functionality in 
a business uh, or professional projector? Yeah, I'm honestly not sure that I've really seen it anywhere else, uh, but you guys have been slowly dropping into more and more of your projectors. And uh, I guess it's a, it's a considerable convenience feature uh, for those sort of really quick installations where you know you're going to be connecting up to, to other, uh, other products uh, that, that have CEC. Uh, specifically, are these all the, this, this series, is it uh, a resolution again, WXGA uh, across yeah, the line? The, yeah, the PTFRZ60 series are all, uh, first of all, they're single chip DLP projectors. The resolution is, as you said, 1920 by 1200 uh, WXGA resolution. And, you know, there's a lot of other things that are important. Uh, and I, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention uh, certainly the uh, dynamic contrast uh, is an improvement, the contrast ratio. And also, as I mentioned, noise reduction, because in classroom, it's very important, and I do want to reinforce that, that, that the, the dB rating has gone down uh, at least uh, one or two points. So it's at about 27 in quiet mode, very, very quiet uh, projector uh, for the classroom. So very important. And, uh, you know, they're, they're sealed optics, so it requires no uh, filter changes. You have your 20,000 hour rating. And, uh, you know, these are very, very low maintenance, if any, uh, and just a, a real good performer uh, for the classroom. And of course, outside into the business community, into businesses and offices and so on and so forth. But uh, very, very sturdy projector. Uh, now, we, you also are going to be featuring the booth, the, uh, the PT VMZ60, right? The PT, yes, we'll have the VMZ60 series as well. Uh, the PT VMZ60 series are basically our entry into uh, laser with LCD. Uh, so we have various different models, both in uh, WUXGA and WXGA within that series. So we go from 4,500 to 6,000 lumens. Uh, there are about four or five different models involved but uh, we, we have uh, quite a range of solutions. All of them have uh, the 4K input. And uh, as I mentioned, they're all LCD uh, laser projectors. Okay, so then I, I guess uh, it, it's worth talking as well about, about the PTZ 990 series also being featured in your booth. Uh, where does that fit into the line? The PTZ, uh, PTRZ 990 series are single chip DLP projectors ranging uh, from 6,000 to 10,000 lumens. Uh, they're all WUXGA uh, resolution. And these are very, very uh, high level projectors. Uh, and the difference here between this and let's say the, R, the, the FRZ60, uh, which are also single chip DLP, the RZ990 series are all interchangeable lens models. So we have a wide range of different lens options uh, for the end user, including uh, ultra short throw lenses as well. So with the RZ990 series, you have the 990, 890, 790, and 690 series uh, that will include into, the, into that lineup. It sounds good. So I think maybe before we wrap it up, Scott, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the software support and for control and setup that you guys provide. I, I think Panasonic, uh, one of the things that makes the brand special uh, is that you have a fairly extensive uh, list of, of software applications, both for wireless control and wired control that, that really help uh, people adapt most of your uh, projector lines to different situations. Uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Well, we have some software to control uh, a wide range of projectors, uh, uh, thousands of projectors with our, our MMCS uh, system, uh, which is available for free at our, our, well, on our site. So uh, that really is some good software that people can take advantage of. We also have early software uh, that people can get uh, uh, that provides a lot of uh, insight into how projectors are performing and uh, it's great for AV managers to be able to identify any potential issues. Uh, that's the name early warning uh, software. The, uh, there's other software as well. Uh, we think software is really important. Uh, it's uh, because, you know, some projectors and for providing boxes, uh, you know, isn't that, you know, everybody's selling boxes nowadays. We're offering a lot of different software solutions as well. Uh, Country Manager Pro, we have different uh, software for different applications. 
uh, for uh, 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 image correction uh, tech, uh, requirements and things like that. So yeah, there's uh, several different uh, types of uh, software. Great. Yeah, it's, uh, I imagine it's, it's good for the end user base to have that, that kind of support. Well, Scott, I really do appreciate you taking the time to sort of walk us through your booth. And uh, um, we look forward to seeing uh, the new projectors, uh, hopefully in person at some point soon. And uh, wish you the best of luck with the new line. No, thank you very much. I well, appreciate it. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.